Hey, this is Anton over at thehyperadvisor.com and in this video I want to get into a another deployment of CloudStack um, but I'm going to separate the videos up a little bit and eventually we'll have a configuration where we have multiple KVM hosts, the, the management server, and we also have advanced networking set up to where we can deploy instances um, that also leverage uh, open vSwitch and GRE. So first I want to get into the deployment piece of it first. Uh, I'm going to use the CloudStack deployment tool that I developed, uh, CloudStack Deploy or CLD STK dash deploy, which can be found on GitHub. And you can just check out one of my other uh, blogs or previous posts uh, that goes in a little more detail around that. Um, it's basically used to deploy all the different components of CloudStack and also do some configuration. In this environment, I'm going to I'm going to use uh, virtual machines to to set this up to make things easier, of course, so we don't have to worry about hardware. And you can also see everything that's going on um, in this configuration. I'm going to have two KVM hosts. Each will have four gigs of RAM and two processors on it and also have the VT enabled. You can use VirtualBox if you so choose to. Uh, just make sure you, you uh, have VT enabled in VirtualBox. And you also have an adequate amount of RAM, uh, four gigs a minimum, uh, when you set your, your virtual machines up. So there's also a management server as well. This system right now I only have one gig of RAM in it and two CPUs. Uh, this could be lower, but uh, one gig of RAM is is pretty usable here in this environment. Uh, one thing I want to do and take advantage of, since we're going to use advanced networking um, as an end goal here, is set up multiple network adapters. And I want to have both of these on uh, the bridge networking because I have a DHCP server out there and they'll grab the DHCP uh, IP addresses and also I need to um, have these KVM hosts reach out to an NFS server that I have um, set up with FreeNAS. Uh, you can use whatever NFS server you like. I'm using FreeNAS in this configuration. You set up both these KVM hosts the same and here you can see resource allocations the same and the networking configuration here. Is the same. Okay, so I'll go ahead and start these up. And the OS that are on the KVM host, well, actually all these hosts are CentOS 6.5. Um, these were all set up from a base template. And I've already gone in and pre-configured the host names for these, uh, these virtual machines that are set up, as you can see here with this one here. Now, once these come up on the network, um, what we'll do is go into the cloud stack system. Now this system is a separate virtual machine which is dedicated just for running the cloud stack deployment uh, tool that I have here. Um, you can actually deploy to this same system here if you wanted to do an all-in-one setup. Um, the tool was not really meant for that. It was meant to push the the installation process out to remote systems. Um, so that's where I've done most of my testing around this tool. So, But you can use it if you want to do the all-in-one installation. You can take a look at my document um, or previous post just to uh, see what commands you need in order to do that. Uh, it's fairly easy. If you're doing a, an initial setup, uh, we would go in and, and you can just set up, uh, do a cloud stack, a Python cloud stack uh, deploy.fi. 
um, after you're in the directory for the tool. Now there is some preset up here. It's already been done. I have another video that actually walks you through how you can get this this tool downloaded, set up, and ready to go and be at this point where I am right now. So I'm going to go ahead and run the tool and we can start this setup. The first thing it's going to do is ask for a password. Note that this password is to it's going to be used to access all the systems, right? The local system and also the remote system. So um, this needs to be your root password needs to be the same password on all your other hosts uh, for it to be able to access those. Um, then it starts a web service and this web service will be used throughout the process mainly for the local installs. Um, you'll see in a minute here I'll ask for whether you want to use the internet or local. Um, just to make things a little bit quicker so you, you don't have to go um, out to the remote uh, repository for cloud stack packages because they're pretty large um, so this will help for you can download those packages once and then repeatedly use those over and over once they've been downloaded to this uh, cloud stack deployment system here we're not going to do a all-in-one install at this point uh, because we have three separate systems where we want to install the management role and the uh, KVM host uh, or the agent role. Uh, we do want to install the primary database server. Uh, just to note, during this process for the installation, it does ask you about the different components because the tool was meant to be able to deploy the different components independently. Um, even if you already have a, a, an environment set up, uh, you could use it to deploy some of the tools um, after the fact. Caution on the database portion. Um, if, if you're installing the database components using this tool, it will remove the old database. Um, so at your own risk, if you do not want your database uh, uh, to be deleted or removed, do not install any of the database pieces. Um, replication, uh, you can use that if you set up a new separate database server and then you attach the uh, replication with it. Uh, so don't try to install it to the same management server or uh, primary database server. We're going to choose yes here. Uh, we want the database server to be installed on this management system whose IP is this here. We can use, you can use DNS, but in my case, I don't have DNS set up. So we're going to use the IP addresses. Uh, we don't want replication. Uh, we do want the management server, the primary management server. It will be the same, IP, same system that the database server is getting installed on. Uh, we don't need any additional management servers and we do want to install the KVM host um, and the KVM host is just a common delimited uh, list of the, the KVM systems either name or IPs uh, for those systems. Now we're going to install the system tem templates or precede the system templates as well using this tool. And with that, we need to provide the, the NFS servers uh, information. Okay. Um, we're going to choose the local install, so we do not want to install from the internet. And we're going to install the 4.4 version of CloudStack. Um, this, this section we want to choose yes so that we can go ahead and uh, um, pre-populate the SSH keys um, on this, this system here so that when we do run the process uh, it does not subsequently ask for a password uh, behind the scenes and uh, the install process gets held up. So we'll choose yes. 
Okay, so it has everything it needs here. Um, it is saying that there's no route to host for 57. So let me just verify the IP address here. And as we can see, the IP address here needs to be did not choose the bridge routing. So I'll do that. So this network and restart. All right, so that is set up there. We're not gonna choose the basic zone, uh, but that could be configured if you wanted to. And we're not gonna install the uh, this setup right now, only because we had the, the one connectivity issue with the virtual machine. I wanna just make sure I can SSH into that machine before starting the install process. But I'll show you how you can install you can run the install process afterwards without having to ask um, or answer all these questions all over again. We'll choose no there. We'll SSH into the remote system that we had issues with. And okay, that's fine. Um, and as I said, you can you can run the, the install process after you've a, answered the questions and the cloud stack deployment tool is really meant for this um, from its core, right? So if you needed to run an install and then tear down that environment and then run the install process again, it's as easy as just going back in here and rerunning the command without having to answer any of the questions because all the questions that you you answered are uh, already pre-populated in a host file here which shows all of those systems and you can um, it's sort of readable exactly what those those systems are being used for and also there are variables uh, already saved in this variables YAML file okay so if we want to go ahead and uh, start this process and use the the already uh, populated host file and and VARS YAMS, uh, YAML file. We just do install and do all. Okay. We'll have to supply the password again, and this will go ahead and kick off the installation process. Um, and right now, it's going ahead. It's going to do a few things, set up, depend, uh, install some dependencies for um, the tool, and it uses Ansible in the background. So it's going to pre install some tools that Ansible requires, um, try to configure the, the time on the systems, and um, then it'll start installing the components for SQL, for the Cloud Stack Management software. It'll install the KVM into the system and then also the Cloud Stack agent onto those hosts. Now you'll see that we are getting some, some error messages here or failures for syncing the time. Um, this may happen if, if for some reason it has issues contacting out to the, the time server. This time server is pre populated in my Ansible files and sometimes there may be issues with that but I have it set up to ignore um, so it will go past this with, without killing the uh, the process and everything will still get installed uh, the right way and they will be working in the end the only thing you may want to validate is just to make sure that uh, your your systems the time is is in sync on all the uh, systems that we're deploying to Okay, now that CloudStack has installed all the components that are required on the different nodes and preceded the, 
the system templates. Uh, we can just do a little validation on the management server just to see if it's up by going to its uh, URL. So we're going to use the IP address 8080 slash client. Uh, it does, it may take a little bit for your virtual machine to have all the services started up before you can access it. Uh, but if you wait it till after all this other stuff has been done, uh, there should be no issue getting into it. And if we go ahead and do admin password, uh, we can see that we can log into the, the system here. And if we just click here, you see there's nothing, <clears throat> there is nothing set up in this case because we did not choose to configure uh, any, any basic zones, which you could do from uh, the CloudStack deployment tool. Um, in the next video, I will go into setting up the KVM host with uh, Open vSwitch uh, so that we can uh, have those set up, pre-set up for when we go ahead into CloudStack here and we set up the advanced zone.